Yo guys, welcome back to a new PCGO Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at an old classic deck of mine. This is going to be a my Naganadel Guzzlord Butterfree deck. I made a video on this deck quite a while back, and it was a bit of a hit. And I like this deck quite a bit. And even now in our current standard format, I actually think it's not that bad. Um, The whole idea is Butterfree's Triple Charge allows you to search your deck up to three basic energies, attach them to your Pokemon we like. So we use Triple Charge to power up a Naganadel and Guzzlord Tag Team GX which has a attack jet pierce for a dark, a psychic, and a colorless, does 180. The whole idea of this card is it is super bulky and super tanky, and we are playing a lot of heals. So a lot of the cool combos we do have is a violent appetite, discard a Pokemon from your hand if you want, and you can heal 60 from this Pokemon. Healing 60 is pretty good. We have, of course, Malon in the format to add extra healing, but we also have some great potions in the deck to heal even more damage. And the nice thing is, since we play a 4-4 Butterfree line, we have a ton of filler Pokemon to discard with our violent appetite ability thanks to having those extra Butterfree and Caterpie and Metapods that we could just discard at any point in the game. That's pretty much the idea of the deck. Heal these. We can checkmate the opponent with uh, Chaotic Order, allowing us to, for two energy, one colors and a dark, we can uh, take two prizes and just choose them, which is awesome. And they keep they stay face up. We have Beastbringer to knock out Dene's and stuff, or ADP or any tag team Pokemon to take three or four prizes, and then we can checkmate them that way. So I really like this deck quite a bit. So before we get the video, guys, go show to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCG pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So you guys are going to pick up any set code, whether it be Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Sword Shield Base Set, or any of the Sun and Moon sets or XY sets, whatever, get them over there. If you're looking for a sleeve code, a promo code, an ETB code, whatever, get them over at Car Cabin. And of course, guys, if you do get any codes over at Car Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, 45% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Cabin. So big shout out to Car Cabin, guys. Check them out, and make sure you use code LDF if you uh, get any codes over there. All right, and also if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting over there too, give them a watch. All right, let's look at the list. This is what I'm rocking with here for my list. Um, really like this deck a lot. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, it is pretty powerful when you kind of set it up. Um, so again, Neg Guz, very cool card. Um, the best thing about it really is just it has so much. It has just so much on face value that just makes it like just really cool. There's a lot of lot going on on this card, right? We have a really cool ability that can heal. Jet Pierce, 180 damage, not amazing. You're not going to have Crobat to Dene. You're two-shotting pretty much everything in the game. Then we have Catac Order, which can turn all your prizes face up. And you, with an extra dark, you can take two of those prizes. So if you ever just have to take a couple prizes to win the game, you can just go Catac Order or game. Um, we just build them up through Butterfree here. Now, the nice thing about Butterfree is you can put it in play in one turn with Adaptive Evolution, Caterpie, and Metapod. Um, triple Charge is really cool. 130 HP sometimes can be bulky enough to let us do multiple triple charges because a lot of the time we do want to build up two Nag Guzzes. And again, having access to Malana to heal is really good. Um, we have Big Charm in the deck to give us more HP too. Wouldn't mind maybe playing a Stealthy Hood though, I find, because Mimikyu is kind of popular. Mimikyu is pretty bad for this deck. Shuts off your Violent Appetite, which makes it kind of hard to tank with this card. So I wouldn't mind playing a Stealthy Hood um, in the deck too. But sometimes Big Charm and Big Speech Bringer are just better tools, but you know is what it is i am playing four captures because we can go capture energy on butterfree put a guz down we got four darks and four psychic along with a rod in case we get hammered two turf fields evil wind sense just ways to find your butterfreeze three boss three marnie two research two malana one can cynthia one guzmahala i guess really the only thing missing from the deck is like a reset stamp but i don't really know what i would play in place of a reset stamp but if you want to add like a stamp to the deck definitely i would do it another great potion is also something that i have considered playing is a second great potion a fourth tag call um, an extra Kaelin Cynthia would all be good too. So there's definitely some more cards you can play in here, but this is what I'm rock with for the initial list. Let's go try it out and uh, see what we can do with it. All right, here we go. First match we are playing against here. We do win the coin flip. We are going to let my opponent go first. It might be against a Welder deck. I don't know. We're going to let him go first because we want to go turn one. Um, turn one uh, Butterfree. Not with this hand though. That This hand sucks. <laughs> where's my uh, where's my outs? Where's my outs at game? Where are they at? I see we're playing against here. The Jirachi. I gotta assume this is a Welder deck. I don't know. Jirachi tells me it's Welder. We'll see what it is. Yeah, hopefully we can drop something here because this hand is not very good. Not very good. This hand is trash. We can capture energy for a Guz. If we can draw something to get into a Butterfree, we might have that turn one triple charge, which is what we want. We have Boss and Beastbringer too, so. They mentioned the Dene, right? Just saying, we can knock it out. Okay, they are going to grab a Marnie. I wish they would Marnie me here. 
I mean, if, if we do whiff, we have another Caterpie. It's not the end of the world if we do whiff here. Especially if they are going to Marnie me because his hand sucks. So, I actually would prefer if they would Marnie me in all honesty. But I don't know if they are going to do that or not. That's the only problem. Ooh, Inteleon. Interesting. All right, what do we draw? We drew our own Marnie eye. That's pretty good. So, we can maybe get the turn one Neg Guz off. We'll see. Hmm. Defense on Caterpie and just Marnie, just in case we do with the Butterfree and Metapod here, which could happen, which it will happen. Yep. Rip. No chance. It's gonna have all the active just pass. They, I mean, the most they could do is Hydro Snipe me for 60. That's an unfortunate whiff. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get off the Marnie, but it would have been nice. We were close. We we're close enough. Probably would have all that Caterpie into a Metapod too, so we can't get it max bulleted. Not the end of the world, though, that we whiff. They have no Frost Moth set up yet, so it's not too bad. We're not in trouble just yet. I do think we can win this. Now, we want them to bench like a Dedenne or something, right? So we can knock it out with uh, Jet Pierce. If we can draw into a Butterfree, I mean, best case scenario, we draw Butterfree here. Um, yeah, we draw Butterfree. That'd be cool. And then we can go build up the Neg Guz. They bench a Dedenne. Then we have Boss the following turn. We take our three prizes. Then we just gotta knock out the Italian to win the game. Or we can knock out Jirachi and then do Chaotic Order. We have a lot of win conditions. And they do 160 damage. We can turn that to 100 damage with our ability. Um, even 110 with a Great Potion. And we have Malana, so... We should be pretty tanky against Inteleon. The only problem is that they're playing Crushing Hammer. Things could get a little uh, sketchy. But we do have a bit of tank in this matchup, I would say. Okay, there's a Research. I'm assuming they're playing Frost Moth, but we'll see. The, the Jirachi tells me otherwise. I haven't really seen a... Jirachi and a Frost Moth deck in a very long time. So we'll see what they do here. Might just see them research. We'll see if they Marnie me again. Or they have a Marnie again. There's an Energy Spinner. They could be playing a Rose build, maybe? Could be a Rose deck? I don't know. Energy Spinner over Bucket. Very interesting choice. <laughs> okay. But well, they'd have a Marnie. So they didn't Marnie me. I gotta assume they're playing a Rose deck. That's like my best guess. They're playing like a Rose deck. There's the VMAX. Do they have a KO on my Metapod? They would need like a Goon Ping and a Scoop Up Net. We'll see. I probably would prefer them not to attack me. I don't think it makes a difference in terms of math fixing, but I guess it'd be better for them not to attack me here if we have the opportunity. We're probably going to have to Marty them unless we draw Butterfree here. We'll play the Capture Energy on the Neg Guz. Put another Guz down. We'll see if they bench A to Den AGX. We'll see if they're playing Rose or Frost Moth even. There's a Quick Ball. Will that get them a Snom? Let's find out. Is it going to be a Frost Moth build? I got to assume it is. I don't know. The Energy Spinners, though, is kind of sus, man. You got you to play the Bucket. I see what this Quick Ball grabs. Dragapult? What? <laughs> okay. What am I up against? Okay. Interesting. Ah, oh, there's the Butterfree, but... Not gonna work. Um. Hmm. We can goose Mahala for turf field, I guess. Gonna have to be the play. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the play. Goose Mahala for turf, which I'm fine with. I'm gonna keep the boss around. Get turf field, big charm, capture G. Actually, we, we could have discarded capture G and kept the uh, kept the other guz around. That's fine. Hopefully the turf field sticks because we can use uh, use all these turf fields to violent appetite our boys. But we are going to get the Butterfree down. And uh, we're going to triple charge. Um. Oh, I forgot the order I put the energy in. Oops. Okay, no. Dark energy goes on here. I think it's dark, dark psychic. Yeah, dark here. And the psychic energy there. All right, never mind, never mind. The game tells you. I did I, I, all this time. I didn't know that, bro. Insane. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a rose deck. If they're playing drag a pull with Inteleon, there's there's definitely rose. That's why they're playing energy spinner over bucket. That makes sense. Very interesting combo. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's some synergy, right? There's a bit of synergy here. Max Phantom and, Ma and Max Bullet. They both kind of combine, but we don't have Mew, so yeah, definitely gonna be a bit of a bit of back and forth with the snipes, but. Not too big of a deal. It takes some three three sites to go Butterfree. Uh, Max Phantom doing 50 to this guy isn't going to do much. We have Great Potion and Violent Appetite. So I still feel fine in this matchup. 
We'll see, though. The only thing that could tip me off is, like, Crushing Hammer. That's what I'm scared of. Now, what we could do, we can knock them out with the Guz here, or we can do another Triple Charge and just kind of build up more energy. I'm tempted to just build up more energy, to be honest. Um, I don't know. The big thing is I want to be able to Gust, like, a Dedenne or something and take, th take three prizes, right? That's my game plan, but we can't get there just yet. We could knock out the Jirachi. Then we can just knock out Dragapult. And then we just gotta knock out... Let me just Chaotic Order. Okay, they're gonna Marnie me. So, never mind. That doesn't matter anymore. We'll see what this Marnie gives us. Probably just more energy for the other Guz would be ideal. Nope. Got a tag call. Oh, they do play Crushing Hammer. No, dude. I knew they were playing that. No. <laughs> Dang it. All right. They got Double Tails, though. You love to see it. Try doesn't two-shot me. So, we can do... Oh, it does two-shot me. Vitality Band. Derp. We'll put another, we'll put that in play. Hmm. I guess just a call for Maulana and Sinlin. Most Caitlyn, Cynthia here. Get rid of this. Back Marnie. Draw three cards, looking for some energy. Nope. So we can go retreat, Jet Pierce. We have Maulana. Or we can just build up more energy, but we have the Butterfree for later. How much HP do we have? 60. We can put the big charm on the Butterfree. And we can save it for later. I mean, then we can just knock out Dragapult and then knock out Drachi and then just do Chaotic Order to win the game. Or we can just use turn to build up more energy. Kind of like both plays, not gonna lie. I kind of like just taking the turn to build up the energy. And I think that's actually gonna be what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I just wanna just sit back, build up more energy. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. Put the energy out. Yeah, just build them the energy. I think that's fine. I probably should have put a big charm on the Butterfree in case they... Uh, but they're probably going to have Max Phantom. But they could whiff the energy. If they're playing a split of both energy, there's a good chance they whiff the, the Psychic. So maybe we should have put the big charm on. So they can't knock me out with Shred, to be honest. But no, I don't think it matters. We can always save the big charm for later. It's not the end of the world. Did they do here? There's a hammer. Yeah, see, I think I think just playing around the crushing hammer is good. They also have their Inteleon's first attack, which could be a little disruptive. There's the hammer. Will it be heads one time, bro? Cheese me, do it. Okay, you love to see it. Triple tails. Do they have a supporter? Nope. Nice. Okay, cool. No Marnie's good because this hand is pretty busted for next turn. But they didn't bench any Pokemon that we can really s swing into. We're just gonna bring in this guy. And we're just gonna you no know, dark energy. We'll put them in the active. Guys, too. Play this just in on the deck a little bit. And we'll just go... Yeah, Pierce for 180, I guess. Just hitting the Dragapult. We'll take a bit of damage. At most, we'll take 150. But then we can heal all that damage with Great Potion Maulana. Or Violent Appetite Great Potion. Just healing most of the damage, too. There's a Hammer. Four tails in a row. You just absolutely love to see it, bro. You just love to see it. Still thinking the Butterfree play around play was better. Because now we have two Neg Guzz to work with, right? We can go between both of them if we really have to. There's a Sonya. That can get my opponent the Psych Energy they need. They can get a Psychic and a Water Energy, I think. Which could get them somewhere. Like, I don't imagine my opponent has a Rose coming our way soon. But once we knock out this Dragapult, our game plan is boss knock out Jirachi and then just Chaotic Order. Which I think we do knock out the Jirachi first because... They could scoop up netted off the board. Unless they bench like a Krikatoon or something. Like something with low HP. Um, if they just shred me here, we're just going to heal all the damage. And we're just like going to say, well, that did nothing. And we're pretty much getting closer to a check my opponent here. If they shred me. So uh, it's probably not a good idea for my opponent to shred me here. I got to imagine they're playing like a Rose Engine, you know. But they got to they gotta have something. Haven't seen a single draw card yet. Right? No Krikatoon, no Dedenne, no Bat. I want them to bench the Dene, but we haven't seen a Dene come down yet. Or a Bat. So we'll see what they end up doing here. Alright. No Max Phantom. So yeah, we're just going to heal all the damage. I guess they can go with Inteleon. Yeah, I guess this is fine. But now we just boss a Dragapult to knock it out. Which I probably just end up doing. Right? Is that ever the correct play? Is just boss a Dragapult? First of all, we can Violent Appetite. We can. We can hold the energy. Well, they have no crushing hammer left, so it actually doesn't really matter. <laughs> they have no crushing hammer left. 
Um, we can knock out Dragapult. We can also just hit the Inteleon, which I don't mind either. We know there's a max bullet coming our way. And we have like a really good hand to heal that damage. Right, so. I'm actually pretty content. Let's just keep thinning out the deck. I don't think they play stadiums. So we can just kind of keep thinning out Pokemon. We can just let him do max bullet. We'll just hit into the Inteleon and basically say, well, both of your main VMAX Pokemon can both get knocked out by Jet Pierce now. And um, that's fine by me. I don't know. Can we Dragapult doesn't do much, right? We kill the Dragapult. They bring in the Inteleon. We have no damage on and They start doing max bullet. Things can get a little sketchy. So I think it was better to just not hit them. They have a lot of supporters. They got Yelgrint, Sonya, probably Boss. Do they have any draw cards here? Do they have anything? Because if not, we're going to heal all that damage. Nope, just a max bullet. We'll see where they hit. Uh, they probably want to hit the Guz, right? They hit the Guz Lord. They could hit the Metapod. Oh, they do hit the Metapod. Okay. Well, that doesn't make a difference. Now we just heal all the damage they just did to us. So we can just go Violent Appetite, heal the Metapod. We're not, well, not all the damage, but pretty much most of it. Then we go Malana, get rid of Calm and Quick Ball. Go into the other Nag Guz. The bulkiest of all boys. We just play this. Keep thinning. And we just take a knockout with uh, Jet Pierce. And then we go boss knockout Jirachi. Or boss strike a pull and win the game. So we pretty much win here. Um, see what happens. My opponent didn't really do much. Like, I don't know. Their deck's really interesting. I got to assume they're playing a Rose Engine because I don't know how you can build up Dragapult and Inteleon efficiently enough. But we'll see what happens. They have to stand for Marnie me here to prevent me from winning the game. There's a Research. That is not a Marnie, which they have to play in order for me to not win this game. They have to play a Marnie. So, yeah, even, okay, then I got my Metapod here. We still have two Guzzlords they have to go through, so that doesn't matter if they knock it out. Yeah, they have to they have to stamp me here or Marnie me because well they have to stamp me now. If they don't stamp me, it's game over. That's game. Alright, GG's to my opponent. Very interesting deck. Um take a knockout here with Jet Pierce. Our alternative would have been knockout Jirachi and Catacord the following turn. So pretty much we had game no matter what there. Um I gotta can I take a peek at their list? So they they had to have played Rose, right? No Rose, really. So just like energy removal. Huh, interesting. I got, you gotta, I feel like, uh, some advice to my opponent there. I think adding a Rose engine to the deck could kind of make it more consistent. Play a Rose, play a Cricket Tune, and uh, you might be able to swap between the Dragapult in and Teleon a lot easier. And I actually think you could have some consistency between the two. And I don't know, the combo of Max Bullet and Max Fan is definitely interesting. So, yeah, definitely maybe try a Rose and you might have something working for you. All right, getting into another match here. We have lost the coin flip. Going second? Let's go. All right, let's see if we can get a turn one butter free play here. We do. Nice. Perfect. Pretty good hand, too. We got the uh, football for the Guz. Discard our top deck. Play the Marnie. We'll see what we're playing against here. Oh, my God. What? We're playing against Whimsicott, bro. The one time I'm playing a Dragon deck, we hit a Fairy deck. Oh, my God. Oh, Giratina. Maybe it's not a Whimsicott deck. Okay. Urshifu. All right. Never mind. All right. I was about to say, bro. Seriously. <laughs> Urshifu. Okay. That was a good top deck. Um... Urshifu is an interesting matchup. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm not saying it's bad either. It's like somewhere in the middle. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, we want to Marnie them. No reason not to. We want to try to get tag calls and stuff, so. Place now. <gasps> this hand sucks. Uh oh, no supporter. Hmm. Triple charge to this guy. Hope they don't play Crushing Hammer. We'll see. If Butterfree can live the turn, that would be greatly appreciated. Luckily, they can't knock me out in one hit with Rapid Flow. So they'd have to play a Goon to knock out my Butterfree with Rapid Flow here. Hopefully, my Marnie gives us another turn. I would like to build up another Guz. If we can build up two Guzzlords, I think we can win this game. And also, we can draw, like, into our supporters. But at the very least, if we can survive the turn... We'll be chilling. Because I would like to build up another Butterfree, but I don't think it's going to happen. They're going to drop a Whimsicott here. I, w I feel like, I don't know, would Whimsicott just, wouldn't, wouldn't Inteleon and Drizzle just be better than uh, Whimsicott? In all honesty, I guess it's less, less options. 
Wim's got the fruit tree cost. Okay, wow. And they do knock me out, so that's unfortunate. That's fine. We can just slowly build the other guys in the background. Let's see, we draw here. We need to find a supporter. It's not a supporter. We do have some turf fields we can play, though. Hmm. Kind of want to get rid of the Beast Bringer. I think that's a bad idea, though. I think we definitely want to keep that around just in case. Just send out the deck by another card and just go for the... Or the Jet Pierce and just two-shot this. Pretty much the game plan. We do need to find Maulana, but at the very least, doing Violent Appetite makes all the difference. Scale Thrust is 150. We can turn that into 90 damage. We have 310 HP. We have great potions. Assuming once we draw a supporter, we also could get Marnied. We can even we can draw more things. Pretty much it'll come down to whether my opponent plays Crushing Hammer. Right. The, mo the spot we're in right now, we can fall victim to some Crushing Hammers here. So that's what I'm scared of. There's a Bird Keeper, so they are going to be able to Gale Thrust me again. But then we're going to knock them out, unless they heal this somehow. That's the only way I can see them surviving the turn. Big Charm, I guess. No, Big Charm's not even good either, because it, they still get knocked out. And then once we kill the Urshifu, we just got to kill Whimsicott, and then we just Chaotic Order win the game. They could go the other Urshifu, I guess. That is an option. That is an option. Yep, looks like that's what they're doing. Well, now they can't. Well, they can, but now they can't go... Uh, they can't go... I can't Gale Thrust. They have to do 100 Furious Blows. Which I guess is the same thing. Boss top deck would be good. A Tag Call would be good. Any supporter would be just amazing. A Marnie would be great on my opponent's end. That'll have to be next turn because I already Bird Keepered. There's a Quick Ball. Gets rid of a Switch. Dene one time. They get it to Dene. Once we get a Switch out, we can knock it out with Jet Pierce. Assuming we don't take a prize card. That could be pretty big. And then we could just knock out the Urshifu that we already hit heavily. As long as they don't play Cheryl. Cheryl. We should win the game. That can be our game plan, too. Oh, no! They play Mimikyu! I forgot about that. Now we don't have Violent Appetite. Okay, that's just... That's really bad. They still two-shot me. Or they still three-shot me, which is fine. Yeah, but we have no Violent Appetite now, which is uh, not very good. Just uh, not very good. Hmm. This Mimikyu is a bit of a headache. We could just hit into them here. They can't they can't knock me out. That Mimikyu, man. It's so bad we need a boss knock that out. Maybe we just do chaotic order and hope for the boss. I actually think that's the right play. Let's do it. Do it now so we can try to get a boss or something. Hmm. Research Maulana seems good. We can take the Maulana. Then heal. We can take Maulana Dark Energy. I think it's always just research dark energy. Actually, maybe we should take a Maulana. They could Marnie me, of course. They could end up Marnie me here. We should probably we probably just take the Maulana because they could they could Marnie me, I guess. Maybe Maulana Dark Energy was the correct play. I don't think it was though, because we're not taking a prize this turn. Okay, they have a goon, so our Guzzlord will go down. That Mimikyu is so bad. Ah, that sucks. Now we have one Neg Guz left to work with, and we can't use our abilities. This is bad. We might actually lose this. I thought this was like super winnable, but the Mimikyu absolutely just wrecks me. We have Great Potion though, still somewhere in the deck, so we still have that to work with. Let's yeah, see, we draw. Turfield. Do we ever want to put another Butterfree in play? I mean, I guess. There's no reason not to. Could come in handy. Research. What do we get here? All right. We got, we got Maulana, we got boss, we got we got great potions, so not bad. Next turn, we can go great potion, boss, the Mimikyu, I guess. Sure, that might have to be the play. Oh, I forgot to do turf field. Oops, I forgot to play the turf field, my bad. I forgot to play it. Hopefully they don't play Rod. Ah, that Mimikyu, bro, it's so annoying. I could play Stealthy Hood, I guess, in this deck. Maybe that should be needed for these Urshifu matchups. I don't even know if Boss Great Potion is the right play, though, to be honest. It could Malana me, too. Yeah, there's a power plant. And we should have I don't know why I didn't play the turf field. That was really stupid. Still have a lot of Pokemon we can draw. I should have played the turf field, though. There's no reason not to. I forgot about it. Yeah, I think it has to be Great Potion KO Mimikyu. If we're going to have a fighting chance, we need to be able to heal this thing. We could Great Potion Guzmahala for Big Charm 2. I don't hate that either. We could just knock their active out. 
but then they knock me out. So I think we have, well, I don't know. No, I think we, okay, hold on. Great potion, the active. But I guess what we can do, we have 180 HP. They can't, it's so hard for them to kill me. I think what we can do, I mean, we can heal all the damage and just knock them out. And we have boss in hand for a game. So we actually don't even have to play. We don't have to knock out this Mimikyu then technically, right? Because we can just heal all the damage they did to us. And then we just have boss in hand to win. I guess this is probably just better. Yeah. Forget what I said, bro. It's probably just a better play. Just fully heal this. And we have boss in hand. So it's like ripped to my opponent. We can take all good prizes, right? All right, all right, maybe we can win this. The Mimikyu might've been annoying, but you know what, at the end of the day, worked down the end. We might win this. I mean, we're, they could stay at me to one, which I probably assume they have in their hand. Assuming, because they do have Whimsicott. But like, not only do they need, they need a reset, Sam, they also need a new Pokemon to attack with. They can't use that Urshifu. Even if they attack me and stay at me to one, we still win the game by just attacking, knocking them out. So it's like, I think we checkmated them, I think. Yeah, great potion, uh, Mount Lana, busted combo. Don't eat you. Who cares about Mimikyu, bro? This thing, not even a problem, bro. The whole time I was like, boss Mimikyu? No, bro. Why would we ever boss Mimikyu? We can just win the game uh, by just attacking and healing. All right, let's go. Yeah. They'd have to play... Well, they have a stone energy on. Oh, that will do it. All right, never mind. Shoot. Okay, that did buy my point an extra turn. No, it didn't. We just win with boss. No, it doesn't even matter. Why would I ever... Why would we ever knock this out? All right, never mind. They don't have a stamp. Okay, that's game. Either way, we had another Maulana. Just kind of body them. And now we just go boss knock out Mimikyu and... Yeah, GG's. Boom. All right, look at that. Straightforward match. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it worked out. The the heal blocking was definitely bad, but... Uh, my man is still a beast. At the end of the day, man's still a beast. That was uh, pretty good. The Maulana came in clutch. And not getting stamped there is what saved us, pretty much. All right, get into another match here. We have lost the coin flip. Let's see if we do get to go second. Which would be ideal. Going second would be great. Now, one thing you could add to the deck, you might be thinking, is what about adding a Mewtwo Mew Tag Team GX? Don't think you need it. You just saw we just, we bodied, we bodied uh, the thing anyways, the what's his face. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we just bodied Urshfu. So I don't think we need the Mewtwo Mew. It's not really needed, to be honest. Like, Neg Guz is really tanky. So it's like, it can beat Urshifu. You don't need the Neg Guz. All right. Ooh, speaking of Mewtwo, it looks like what, that is what we are playing against here. So, best top deck would be a Pokemon, so we can get the Butterfree in play. Yeah, best top deck would be a Pokemon. A Capture Energy would be pretty good, too. We're playing the Galaxy Mewtwo deck, it looks like, which could be a little tough to beat. We'll see. I mean, could be another checkmate scenario. I mean, we could just knock out... If we go through one Mewtwo with a Beastbringer, I guess we can win. Oh, no, they're playing Egg Red Rillaboom. Nice. Nice. Okay, good top deck. We can go Metapod... Butterfree down. We just research and pray we don't whiff the Neg Guz. Nice. Play Tag Call to grab it. We'll, uh, we have to Tag Call anyways for like a Sinlin. Punch it. Triple charge. So we did prize. We have no Psych Energy left. So rod would be good. This is why I do play one Rod just in case stuff like this does happen. The Rod is good to get back your Butterfreeze, but it is something that I am thinking about maybe cutting, to be honest. I've been thinking about it. Like, Rod can probably get cut. Maybe even the U-Turn board. I don't know. I might I might make a video on this deck on my Patreon, too, with an updated build with some changes to it. I do want to maybe try a reset stamp in here. A second Sinlin for Tag Call would also be something that I'm looking into doing. Maybe cutting the Guzma Hala. I don't know. The Guzma Hala is pretty busted, though. So, I don't know. Definitely some changes I think this deck could have made to it. We'll see what they end up doing here. Parish Ball. I mean, I'm assuming they're playing the Egg Brown Billaboom deck. And I mean, if we get a Beast Bringer online. Oh, you know, maybe we should have. Uh, did we? Did we? We didn't have Guzma Hall in the deck, did we? Maybe we should have Guzma Hall there, that tag call. Because once we knock out the Mewtwo, it's pretty much just like KO Mewtwo, it's game over. You know? That's all we got to do is KO the Mewtwo. Now, it is actually important to keep Butterfree alive in this matchup. Because. Oh, no, you know, they can incinerate or KO me. Shoot. Sorry about that. We hit them, they couldn't incinerate me, so we gotta be a little careful. If we had a boss, we had a B-Spring, we could knock out Jirachi, take three prizes, then we KO Rillaboom, and then we just cut a quarter. Okay, they don't even have a Rillaboom. All right, this is huge. Um, We'll capture G for another Neg Guz. 
Okay, the Sinlin. Should have probably... Oh, okay, I have played Turfield first, actually. Mountain and Research are both good. I think we definitely just want the Research, though, to have more, more droughts. There's a Tag Call. Retreat the Butterfree. Keeping the Butterfree alive is really, really good. Um, because now we have access to... Um, and out if they go for Tropical Hour GX. Which is nice. I mean, a counter Tropical Hour is always good. Great Potion's all there. One Dark Energy left. They have Turfield to play with two, I guess. We take a knock, I'm not going to be able to use British Springer. I've come to accept that. That's going to have to be the play. Still, though, the tempo is now in our favor. If they bench another, if they bench a Denner or Crobat and we find boss, we can knock it out. There's a big charm and there's a calm. No psych energy. We need another psych energy on this other Guzzlord. We have the rod in our hand, though, but we'll save it until we'll save it for a rainy day. Honestly, I don't know if I want to hit the Mewtwo because I'm scared of, uh, scared of, uh, Incineroar, man. That Incineroar is kind of scary. Maybe we should establish another Butterfree because they could go with a, uh, Another Butterfree might be good, because they could go Tropical Hour, knock out Butterfree with a boss. It's not too hard to build another Butterfree, though, I guess, if we keep our resources. Massive Bloom, that's fine. We are going to fully heal this damage that they did to us. Do we draw? Quick Ball, not ideal. Violent Appetite. So you just go Violent Appetite, Malana. Seems good. Yeah, Guzma Hall's prized. We have one boss prize, too. Okay. Maybe we should just do Catacorda then and get the boss. But they, I need them to bench a Dedenne or Crobat. I don't know. Rather hard to treat the Butterfree here. And we have still a bunch of energy left. It's fine. Self captures. It's all good. Can we hit them and hope they don't knock me out with Incineroar? Does Big Charm ever matter? Not really. Yep, hit them and hope they don't incinerate me is gonna be the play. That's the uh that's the play, I guess. It could mark us do I guess too, which could be annoying. We need to find Great Potion. Great Potion would be really good right now. So now we just hope they don't have Incineroar. They have a four card hand. So they haven't even played a supporter yet. Okay, call. At Low Puff. Okay, that's not gonna do much. There's the egg row. It's a real okay. It looks like we might be seeing a tropical hour GX here, but that's fine because then this thing stays damaged. Let me just go into the butterfree and we switch in a butterfree and then we just heal. Or we heal, we reattach all the energy. It's not that big of a deal. Well, they need an energy in their hand too. Don't forget. Okay. This is actually fine. I don't mind this Marco's duo or tropical hour. Sorry. I don't mind this at all. That's fine. Fine by me. This is where the butterfree's good. Um, No great potion. You just violent appetite once again. Heal. I mean, the healing doesn't make a difference. We put the big charm on, we go to 170 HP. I actually think we do want to put a big charm on because now they can't boss knock me out with like calming hurricane. It's even if they have a boss though. You know, they might not even have a boss. Do this and do this. Might just play the rod now. Yeah, let's do the rod. We'll do both. We'll put back one Pokemon. Just how we have extra heals, and we'll just put back the energy. No, oh, just triple charge. Dark, 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 psychic, dark. We'll put that there. Dark, psychic. Spread out the energy, I guess. Sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it makes a difference. As long as I guess, as long as we keep our hand, we can capture energy. This guy. They definitely don't play hammers, so it's not really a big deal. I mean. All we have to do is knock out the Mewtwo and we win. And they can't heal it currently. Like, they can they can do Calming Hurricane, but that's still going to put them in range of getting knocked out with Jet Pierce. And if they ever bench a Denner or Crobat, we have a boss coming their way. And then we're going to boss it and knock it out. So that's also what we have coming for my opponent. I think we're vibing. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see if they have a boss in hand. They can't knock out this guy currently, right? Yep, there's no attack that can KO this Guzzlord because they've already used her GX attack. Just a common hurricane. That's fine. So that's pretty much game over then, right? They can't knock this guy out in one hit. They have 150 HP. We kill them with Jet Pierce, and we just win with Catacorder. So that should be game over. Should be game over in my books. Do this. Sure, I don't know. Doesn't really make a difference, but 
I'm gonna keep the uh keep the Pokemon around. Just research. There's Beast Bringer. Pokeball it away, we don't need it. Turf field. Just play we could actually just put another butterfree in play. This can play around the reset stamp. Well, stamp doesn't even matter because we still win. I think it's fine. I think we just knock Mojep here. It's just we have checkmate. Doesn't matter. They can't. I can't see how they're knocking this thing out. And without tropical hour, it doesn't make a difference anymore. Let's see what our prizes are here. Boss, good. Psych energy's good. Who's Mahala? All right, so that should be game over, right? They hit me here, and then we just cat a quarter for game. I think. Yep. There's no other. Can't think of anything else they can do. Without their Jex attack, I can't see how they're winning this. I guess like. I guess, okay, maybe if they had the Incineroar, they could go Crushing Punch, Stamp the One, hope I don't draw an energy. That's, I guess, one thing they have going for them. But they still have to go through another Nagus. Even if they deal with this one, they still have to go through a second one. And all we gotta do is Jex attack and we win the game, so. I mean, yep, there we go. That's game. Calming Hurricane for 150. It's not gonna be enough. Let me just go get a quarter. That's game over. Easy peasy. We had Boss on Rillaboom, too, so. We had lots of ways. We could have won that game, but uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the day's feature for you guys on the Nagus Butterfree deck. I think I did a good job showing off the power of this deck. Definitely some changes I would like to have made to it after playing it for a bit. I might do a Patreon video on this deck with an updated build because I really liked this deck quite a bit. I had a lot of fun playing the deck in day's piece of video, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video guys on the deck. Uh, we beat Urshifu, beat Intellion Dragapult, and we beat... Mewtwo Rillaboom, which is a deck that's been popping up recently and is gaining a lot of traction, and it's a pretty powerful deck right now. Um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 16,000 subscribers. Of course, guys, check out Car Cabin down below. If you get any codes over there, use code LDF. Check out the video articles, too, if you want. Uh, check out the socials down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. I'm going to be doing a stream on Saturday um, around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, so you might want to I'm going to tune in for that. Um, that'll be it for me. And uh, yeah, that's the list. Uh, I might do a Patreon video on this deck soon because I like the deck quite a bit. I definitely want to make some changes to it. So yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.